Cole and I work at Wendy Hill Farm. Today I'm going to show you how to clean a sheep. So there's going to be some things that you need first. One is a bucket and two is some mild baby soap. Three is going to be a latex glove and a scrubby glove. This is preference. You can do this with your bare hand if you prefer. But I like the scrubby glove because it works really nicely to get right on the inside of the sheep and get the crud off that's really stuck. And then the latex glove will protect my hand. So before you get started, there's some things you need to do to prepare your horse. First, you should approach him and make sure he allows you to reach underneath and actually touch his sheep. And not only touch his sheep, but touch right on the inside. Then once you have him used to that, you want to use your hose and get him used to water being sprayed around there. It's very important that you use warm water, otherwise the cold water is kind of unpleasant and it'll be harder to get him used to it. So use the warm water, spray around, be able to kind of get your hose inside of the sheep because when a horse has his penis sheep, it's very far up there. So after you get him accustomed to all those things, then you're going to fill your warm bucket, you're going to make a warm bucket of water, you're going to put some soap in it, and you're going to put some soap on your hand too, baby soap, and you're going to start cleaning around the outside. This is a really important practice for geldings because they will build up a like a crud that's made of sweat, dirt, and dry, dead skin. So if a horse has, a gelding has never had his sheep clean, there's going to be a lot in there. This is something you may need to do somewhat regularly or every now and again. It all depends on the horse. So anyways, when you get in there, you're going to want to scrub around and slowly work your way up. You'll first feel the outside of the sheep. There's going to be a lot of kind of like scabs on it. So you'll want to slowly work those off. Then you probably want to put some more soap on your hand and you're going to go up a little bit further and you're going to feel a ring. You're going to go through that ring carefully and you're going to clean around the outside of the gland's penis. Once that's clean and you no longer feel any scabs or crud, then you're going to go into the center of the penis and you're going to clean around the urethra. Okay? Around the urethra is where um, beans are. So a bean is like a really hard, compact, mixture of the dead skin cells, dirt, sweat, stuff like that. This can obstruct the urethra and cause problems. So you really want to make sure that area is clean. And then to wrap up, you're going to take your hose. Well, you might want to take your hand and put it in uh, non-soapy water and try to scrape out any soap that's in there. And then you want to take your hose and spray up in the sheet until you no longer see any soap or pieces of skin and black stuff coming out. And then when you're done, you can just let your horse dry and that's all. So if you have any questions, contact us through the YouTube channel, subscribe to the YouTube channel, visit our websites, and thanks for watching.
first tiny bean. Here's another bean. This is the kind of skin that's coming off. 